a minute. Somehow Porcel has come from nowhere to take over third, and that's going to give him the overall. The crafty Frenchman again. No. We had the it's change for Tickle. Yep. Sorry about that. So it, it's going to be a tie now. Tie break, of course, goes to second moto. So what has happened to Wilson? What has happened to Porcel? Last lap, everything coming unglued. Well, and, and these guys are quite a ways behind Trey Kennard, who's kind of running all by himself in second, and that's who, well, that's the position that Christophe Purcell needs if he wants a chance at winning this overall. As we look at it right here, this is actually uh, Blake Wharton here, who is on his way to getting lapped, potentially, by his teammate, uh, the 243 of Eli Tomac, who's right here with a little less than a half a lap to go. He could possibly be on his way to winning the overall and the second moto in his rookie AMA motocross debut. Just an incredible ride. It's going to be a tie on points, a 1-3 and a 3-1. So Tomek and Porcel will tie. But the tiebreaker is the better finish in Moto2. And you cannot finish any better than first. So Eli Tomac is going to win. There you see how he and Porcel are tied. But that's not enough. Nice clutch move by Porcel to salvage some points but not the win. And as much as people expected from Eli Tomac coming in here, maybe open some eyes, turn some heads, top five, maybe a podium. I don't know if people expected a victory. Two turns to go, and the son of John and Kathy Tomac is gonna do it. How about this? In his first ever pro race, Eli Tomac wins at Hangtown. An unbelievable performance for that young man.